Rule 13. This is overtaking. And this first paragraph is a doozy. Notwithstanding anything contained in Rules 4 through 18, any vessel overtaking any other shall keep out of the way of the vessel being overtaken. A vessel shall be deemed to be overtaking when coming up with another vessel from a direction more than 22.5 degrees abaft her beam. That is, in such a position with reference to the vessel she is overtaking, that at night she would be able to see only the stern light of that vessel, but neither of her side lights. When a vessel is in any doubt as to whether she is overtaking another, she shall assume that this is the case and act accordingly. Any subsequent alteration of bearing between the two vessels shall not make the overtaking vessel a crossing vessel within the meaning of these rules, or relieve her of the duty of keeping clear of the overtaken vessel until she's finally passed and clear. Let's look at that. So we have an overtaking situation when a vessel comes up on another vessel more than 22.5 degrees of after beam, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the beam. The definition of a stern light goes from right astern to 67.5 degrees abaft the beam on either side. So if you're coming up within this sector, you are in an overtaking situation. So let's say you want to overtake. I intend to leave you on your starboard side. So one short blast, alter course to starboard, overtake, and once you're passed and clear, you can continue on your course. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it says, any subsequent change of bearing between the two vessels won't make the overtaking situation into a crossing situation. So, as you begin overtaking this vessel, your bearing keeps changing. Right? Right. When you get right here, you can't say, oh, I'm on the starboard, this is crossing situation, move out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right. Good. And it said, notwithstanding anything contained in rules 4 through 18, which that even goes through the pecking order. Overnight, rooms, for sale, plus supper. Right? Let's say you're a power... You're a restricted vessel. You say, well, I'm going to overtake. You can't even impede a power-driven vessel. You shouldn't be overtaking if it's going to make things dangerous. Mm -hmm. I was driving a 44-foot catch cutter rig down a channel in Charlevoix, and there's lots of people. The bridge opens every half hour. It's a tourist town. This guy way up on his fly bridge, he decides he's going to overtake me. And he scoots off to the side, he gets next to me, and he looks out in front of him, and there's 50 boats coming. <laughs> so he tries to slow down, but it starts to make him go sideways. So I had to put the hammer down, get in front of him, and let him fall back in behind me, mm. because he was going to make a horrible decision. He was going to go to the port side of the channel with all the oncoming traffic. Oh, no. And there was a bunch. He just, oh, there's a slow boat. I'm here I go. And we were just about to go under the, the drawbridge, which is narrow. And mm. You can make a horrible situation out of a situation that is well under control if you overtake at the wrong time. Yeah. Just like in a car, you don't overtake when someone's coming. Mm -hmm. Horrible conclusion to that story. <clears throat> Good. So notwithstanding anything contained in rules 4 through 18, no one impedes an overtaken vessel. And in an overtaking situation, if you come up on a vessel more than 22.5 degrees abaft the beam, you are in an overtaking situation. And if you come up from a direction about 22.5 degrees abaft the beam and you don't know whether it's a crossing or an overtaking, you assume it's overtaking. Assume it's overtaking. Good.
That's rule 13, overtaking situation.